Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, can we call for that daily bread before going to this broadcast? Say this with me wherever you are. Say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Now, I was sharing something with you yesterday. And so we're going to take off from there. I was talking to you about uh, walking. You know when he says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. I was bringing forth an idea to you that it's not just when he says fall into the hands of the Lord. When you have done evil and God is coming to you for judgment. It also means it's truly a fearful thing when you come into the environment of God. Now, what's the environment of God? The environment of God is that place where He leads completely. He leads completely. And I was sharing with you yesterday about the children of Israel, how God had spoken that they are going to be in captivity 400 years. And after 400 years, God said, I will bring them out. Now, they, now, now, Israel itself was a creation of God. I want you to understand that. The nation of Israel was a creation of God. You remember God changed Jacob's name and called him Israel. So Israel gave birth to these 12 children that now formed this whole nation. See, because the nation of Israel is by tribes. And those tribes are by the sons of Jacob. All right, so God said that they will be in captivity 400 years. Now, they've been there. Now, he's come to deliver them. He didn't point the way to them and said, you know the way, right? All right, so go. My angel will guide you as you're going in case anyone wants to attack you. No, he led them through another path. See that? And uh, let me read this to you. Why did God lead them through this path? other part why did he do that i'll show you i'll show you thank you lord jesus deuteronomy deuteronomy chapter 8 deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse oh let me let me read from okay let me read from verse one i want you to follow this now is it all the commandments which i command thee this day shall ye observe to do that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the lord swore unto your fathers god had sworn already now god is saying that look, everything I'm commanding you now, this is how the journey starts. I want you to listen because because I'm speaking to you if you really want to walk with God. If you really want to allow God to position you right. So God is saying, I will give you commands. And you have to observe to do those commands. Notice, observe to do. Now, you know, sometimes you can receive a command, go get me water. And then you just jump up and go get water. But then, one who knows that person more will tell you he only drinks water from this particular source. You understand what I'm saying? So, when he says, go get me water, he said that in his mind, whoever is listening should know the kind of water he drinks so watch this now it says god says look i'm giving you instructions i'm giving you command observe to do them so that it will be well with you and you may live and multiply and go into the land and possess it which i swore so the fact that he swore about that land doesn't necessarily mean he will automatically give you the land you have to prove that you are ready to receive that land. So the fact that God promised you something or spoke things by prophecy 
doesn't mean that thing will come to pass. Now, lots of believers fail this. Now, you see, see watch this now. Verse 2, Deuteronomy chapter 8. And thou shalt remember all the way. Not. Thou shalt remember all the way. Everything he does in your life is for a reason. Every way he commands. Now, if you don't have, if you don't have this memory of, of or, or the the mindset of keeping records, if you don't have mindset of remembering things and taking notes of certain things, you'll find it hard walking with the Lord. I'm telling you the truth. So he says, you shall remember. Just be, just reflect on things. This is why we meditate. All right, and thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in your heart, whether thou wouldest keep His commands, commandments, or no. Did you see that? So God led them forty years in different, diverse ways. And he said this was the reason he wanted to humble them and to prove them to know what was in their heart. Whether you are going to serve him or not. Come on, think about it. He had promised the land to them. He swore consigning it. But now the time has come. But then he still had to prove the ones. This is not Jacob. That was entering the land this is not abraham that was entering the land abraham qualified with god to receive the promise now the time of the fulfillment of the promise the one to fulfill the promise has to qualify with god so god began to test them and why was he testing them i want to know if they are truly the seed of abraham because Abraham will obey my voice. Abraham will obey my command. Even to offer his son as a sacrifice, Abraham would obey. So let me see if these ones will obey. Because that is going to be the proof. Let, let me tell you this. Every bala broke of Every blessing that God is going to bring in your life. Now we're talking about positioning. But do you know that the positioning that we are being released into today is the fulfillment of prophecy that God has spoken before. Now. Everything God is doing in your life today, it's not new. It is the fulfillment of a word he had spoken previously. Now, even though you don't know that word today, even though you don't you didn't pay attention to know what god have said previously but believe me everything god is doing in your life today is the fulfillment of prophecies that he had spoken previously maybe not even to you maybe to your fathers maybe to someone else you understand what i'm talking about everything that he is doing today he's not just doing it out of the blues no he is following the pattern of things he has spoken of. But now, that's why I said it's important. You, the one to manifest the blessing today, must show before him that you qualify. And, and he tests for this. He will test for, for, to know what is in your heart. Why is he wanting to know if you are going to serve him? Because if you are not going to serve him, in that thing that he is doing then there is no point in the first place so truly if you are not going to serve him then what's the purpose now what does it mean to serve him you know we, we read these things and and we don't truly think deep about them god is giving me a position and he wants me to serve him in that place what does it mean to serve him you think to serve him is just oh you know, sometimes you, you, you find pastors who say, now that you have gotten this position, I hope we will still see you in church. You say, ah, pastor, no, I will come to church. Now, there are, in truth, and, and being practical, there are 
things, jobs you will get that will not give you the chance or, or time to be physically in church like you used to do. That will not allow you to, if you're having, if you're doing a physical service in church, that's the truth. But does that mean then that you can't do that kind of job? So in truth, you will not be able to physically, but then does that mean you stop serving God? So is it what we call service is something we need to define properly. And, 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 I'm, and I'm, that's why I'm helping you with this. Now, so what does it really mean to serve him? To serve him means to accomplish the purpose for which he gave you that job. To accomplish the purpose for which he puts you in that place. God will not just look around and say, mm, this is my son. He has been faithful. Let me bless him. And then he carries you and puts you in a position where now everything is being done for you. You see, you see that position he has put you, there is a fulfillment of a prophecy. And that prophecy is attached to other prophecies. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is where the service is. That when you find yourself in that place, you understand the mind of God. And, and, and you see, all you will know by the teachings and trainings that God has already given to you. I'll explain this to you. For example, God have taught you. Let me use something there. For example, God tells you, in your own walk with the Lord and he tells you look don't drink alcohol and you you know God have trained you God have explained to you so you know personally and then one day God puts you in a position and you get to that position where you now begin to relate with people that are not just in that environment that you're used to you begin to relate with people who drink people who you you have cause to go to certain places where alcohol is served and then you find yourself in that place and like oh okay what am i going to do and, and they say oh they're serving everybody that and you look right look left like after it's not even a sin. all kind of thoughts begin to go through your mind and they say, you know what? I'll just drink. And then you take that. Now, you don't realize that you have failed a test. You don't realize that. You don't realize that you have failed in your service to the Lord. Now, the real service hasn't come yet. But you have shown yourself disqualified for that service. Because the service is going to be Ali Your preparedness for that service is going to be determined by how much obedience you give to the things that the Lord have taught you and commanded. It, 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 it has nothing now to do with the mercy of God or the forgiveness of God or no, it has nothing to do. It, this is this is now you showing to the Lord that you are prepared and fit for the position he wants to give to you. So if you keep going, after all, he will forgive those things. Is he not God? He will forgive you. And that's the truth. He will have mercy on you. That's the truth. But you see, you are going to, you, you are not going to get fully into that place that he really wants for you to get into. Why? Because you are not prepared for the service that he wants to give you. You are showing to him that if that service is put in front of you, you will fail. Now, this is what happens to a lot of believers. This is what happens. So when they are going through the test journey, they keep failing and failing and failing and failing and things are prolonged they don't understand why praise god our time is up today and 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 listen I, I pray the spirit of god is really really bringing these things to your understanding 
Father, I thank you. These are not mere words. These are words to quicken us and to put us in the right place. So, Lord, our hearts bow to your truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.